The death of an RAF engineer serving with the Red Arrows could have been avoided, a coroner has said. CPL Jonathan Bayless, 41, died when the Hawk T-1 jet he was flying in crashed at RAF Valley on Anglesey in March 2018. The pilot, FLT LT David Stark, survived after ejecting moments before the plane hit the ground but was badly injured. Rejecting a call from CPL Bayless's family for a conclusion of unlawful killing, coroner Katie Sutherland recorded a narrative conclusion. MS Sutherland, acting senior coroner for Northwest Wales, said she would send a report to the Ministry of Defence, MODI, outlining steps to be taken to prevent future deaths. The inquest was told 25 recommendations have been made following a Defence Safety Authority service inquiry. CPL Bayless died when the jet, in which he was a rear-seat passenger, crashed when a practiced engine failure after a takeoff maneuver carried out by FLLT Stark led to the aircraft stalling and crashing. CPL Bayless died from smoke inhalation after the aircraft hit the ground. MS Sutherland highlighted that the MOD had looked at installing a stall warning system on the Hawk jets following a crash at Mona Airfield at nearby Bodford in 2007. But 14 years later and with the same jets set to remain service until at least 2030, no such systems have been installed. The coroner also highlighted shortcomings in the training and ejection procedures for engineers such as CPL Bayless. The evidence shows the crash could have been avoided, she said. During the four-day hearing earlier this month, the inquest heard a number of changes had been made following an MOD Board of Inquiry in 2019. But MS Sutherland said her report would highlight her concerns about what still needed to be done.